Artificial brains called autopilots have been flying airplanes for decades. They require only the presence, but not the focused attention of the pilot. But smart cars are going to be the first machines making independent decisions in close interaction with humans. Many feel uneasy about it. But Jerry Kaplan, a computer scientist and author of the book Humans Need Not Apply, says smart cars will be much more cautious than humans, and their style of driving will save many lives. He spoke to VOA via Skype. I think that when you take the broader picture, you have to recognize that we may be able to reduce the amount of carnage on our highways by 80, 90 percent. Advanced technologies have always been of great interest to the military, which is developing drones capable of flying without remote control. Some say the possibility of such weapons systems making decisions about life and death is much harder to accept than a smart car. Who will be responsible for one of these weapon systems killing uh, an innocent person? It's very unclear. We don't have the legal framework in place to understand is it the person who built the autonomous robot? Is it, is it the person who wrote the program? Is it the person who turned it on? While some are calling for a worldwide ban on smart weapons, others point out that the components for building them already exist, creating the danger that a rogue nation or a terrorist group could gain the upper hand. There are other reasons, too, for moving forward. There are also very strong moral arguments that we need to develop these technologies because they reduce things like so-called collateral damage. As the technology is racing ahead, artificial intelligence may bring both good and bad things. And scientists warn that we have to do more to adjust to changing times. There's a period in which, um, an interim period, in which people are put out of work and people need to learn new skills. And unfortunately, because this is an accelerated pace of this kind of automation, those problems in the short run are going to get significantly worse. While thinking about the changes artificial intelligence will create in our everyday lives, it may be worthwhile to remind ourselves of the first law of robotics, which famed science fiction writer Isaac Asimov suggested in 1942. A robot may not injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.